Hi, I'm Jamie Kassip. I'm the Global Education Evangelist at Google. And what I want to talk a little bit about is what we need in education more than anything. And what I think that is, is uh, a culture of iteration and innovation. And the reason I say that is because uh, oftentimes you hear people talk about how uh, we need to fix education or that education is broken. And in, in reality is, I don't, I don't think that that's true. I think what is true is that what we need is to reflect education um, that education needs to reflect what the economy is that we're trying to create. Now, for me personally, um, I think education is the most important thing that we can focus on. I am a first-generation American. I was born and raised in Hell's Kitchen, New York. Uh, grew up with a single mother on welfare and food stamps. Uh, that was my, my, my background, and education was my way out of that environment. I was able to you know, graduate high school, graduate college, go to graduate school, and here I am working at Google all these years later, and education is the key. And that made sense at the time, education made sense at the time because of how it was set up, because it reflected the economy that we're trying to, we were building at the time. Now we need to look at education again and make sure that the education that we're creating for our students reflects this new economy that we're building. And it has to focus on the critical things that we need in education around critical thinking and problem solving and iteration and communication. These are the factors that are important in the new workforce. Well, at Google, we looked at a number of different um, uh, data points about how and who was working at Google. And we realized that um, if, if you look at, at, the, at, at the data around grades and, and uh, test scores, that there was no correlation between those test scores and how someone performed at Google. We saw no correlation between those two things. But what we did see is that those are, that were successful at Google were people that can focus on those core things, like understanding something, being able to critically think about something, being able to learn new skills. Right? These are the things that were absolutely necessary at, at Google, and these are the things that we need to make sure that we're focused on in, in education. And when you think about education, and you think about what's happening in this space, um, some really cool things are happening. Right? Uh, it wasn't that long ago that we weren't talking about the use of technology in education at all, and now we're talking about how do we use it? How do we use technology to implement and, uh, and support and enable great learning in the classroom? And that couldn't be more exciting. And this is something that's taking place around the world, not just in the US. We're seeing the, the, the role of technology play a critical, com be a critical component to enabling and supporting what new learning models are being created. And we're starting to see this in places like High Tech High or the Science Leadership Academy or Boston Tech or other schools around the country and around the world that are doing interesting things in education. The key thing here to remember, though, is that we're not saying that technology is a silver bullet. We're not saying that technology is what solves our, our issues. We're, we're saying is that technology supports and enables great teachers in the classroom in ways that we've never been able to do before. And that is what we need to focus on in education.